Hi everyone, Mr. Mark Zeller Artist here and this is who I'm drawing next, this is video one of Roger Moore uh, I, I don't normally do tributes this early uh, but I've got friends in Bond so let's just put that down That's about alright. And I'll, we'll have a chat. Um, so, the reason I'm doing Roger is he's just died, and I don't normally do tributes this early, but I felt compelled to do it because um, I've got friends who are in James Bond one of them is a very good friend and uh, she's she's been hit hard with this and and get this bit right. yeah she's been hit hard with this and and I woke up the next morning and just thought, well, I've got to do it. So, well, I, I thing is, I'd planned to do Roger Moore about four years ago. And I, I wanted to do all the bonds. And I couldn't find the right picture at all. Every picture I was finding was low quality, or it didn't portray Roger as Roger, or Roger as Bond, and I just thought, no, I'll have to do it later. And I kept putting it off, and then he died. Um, I don't really like doing a lot of tribute art though I don't want to be known as the tribute artist uh, these things take it out of you when you have a not just a fan interest but you've got friends who who knew Roger you um you put a lot more work into it. it 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 hits you harder and I don't know how long this will take but while I'm doing it especially if I play Nobody Does It Better by Carly Simon it's difficult even though I never met him so anyway let's go through a bit of technique uh, as you can see at the moment I'm doing hair now the thing about hair is you've got to be careful with it you've got to draw each strand a lot of people would just go scribble and scribble it over and just do it as a dark shade but the best way for realism I found is to do it as realistic as possible by drawing each strand. Now this one is also going to be 3D. The hand with the glove, which I'm not sure whether you can see, can you see it? Oh, well, I'll show you later, show you when I move it. The hand around this section and the, uh, the gun, uh, it's coming out he's pointing to the camera so the camera's focusing on his face and the hand is misty it's out of focus so this is going when you see the original that hand is going to come out quite a distance um, and I'll go through that technique as best as I can because uh, I don't know many people who do this with pencil Actually, I didn't know I did it at first. It just came, and I did the 
Oh. It was either Christopher Lee or Angus Scrim that I did first. And I was doing the portrait, and it, it, I know both of them are 3D. And I didn't know until I put it to the wall. I just got some masking tape, stuck it on the wall, and spray fixed it. And stood back and oh, it's 3D. Now on the Phantasm one, which I will, I can show you in a later video. I haven't got it lined up for this. But the Phantasm one that I did, the orb floats out, and the Christopher Lee Dracula one, his hands float out. They they um they stand out and they look like it's like you've got a couple of planes of depth. And a few more of my drawings do have that level of depth. But I don't know whether it's going to have that 3D element when I've finished, but this one I'm pretty sure will do because of the way how the camera's captured his hand. So what I'm doing at the moment is picking out hair. His face is about stage one done. There's enough shading there to know where to move, but there's some sections that are flat and they've got to be picked out later on. I just thought I'd try and do some more hair. This is what's take what takes so long when I'm doing portraits. This kind of drawing where you you're doing them um, delicate strokes. I'm just changing to a B pencil now. Uh, also, a friend has uh, suggested that he could help me out with a with a new phone because well that's what I'm using um, old tech and if this happens I'll be able to do live videos of me drawing that'll be on my Facebook page Mr. Mark Ziller Artist Although, if we can get live videos running on YouTube, I'm sure I'll give it a go. Anyway, let's show you where I am now. And now, uh, here we are. So, the hair and Roger's face. Like I said, this is about stage one. I've got to get it to this stage. Or as close as I can. Now, the hand. Now, you see that, that it's misty. It comes out. See how you get a 3D effect where it's just coming out. This is going to stand out on the picture, but at the moment, that's what I've done of the hand. I'm not even touching the hand until I've done the face but you will see the detail that I put into this so I can get a three-dimensional image okay thanks for watching I've been Mr. Mark Ziller Artist and you can follow my links down below my main pages on Facebook as Mr. Mark Ziller Artist See you in the next video. Bye.